Okay, let's start the phone. What is this? Custom binary block by alpha block. What is this? Okay, let me explain straight this to you. FRP lock. So Samsung uses the FRP lock from the Lollipop versions to avoid any disadvantages to the device. Means using unauthorized services, unauthorized ROMs, and when you flash recoveries, root your device. This is for them. So when the FRP lock is on, and you flash means. When it turns on and you are trying to boot your phone, it will only say this. It will show you your logo and it will then turn it off. If you put it on charging, it will also turn it off. So, I have a fix for this. 2-3 days ago, my phone gone this because I, I was testing a custom ROM and with some small mistakes, you know, small mistakes. <laughs> Or uh, happened during after the cus flashing the customing ROM and I was just having some modules exposed modules activating and I got this message after a restart. So let's see how to fix this problem. <laughs> so let's start to unlock the FRP lock. So this is what you see when your device gets FRP lock. Okay, so you need to put the device into download mode or you need to do this. Power button, the home button and the volume down button. Press it at the same time. and now this uh, comes up so you need to continue here you can see the warning press continue ok and the download mode also says uh, puppy lock on ok let's see here clearly so let's go so we need odin for it i provided a link to install odin and also do watch my previous videos let's do the Odin ok so need a official Samsung cable for faster results so you can see let me plug the device with the USB on So here uh, Odin has uh, added the device, you can see, now you select, uh, if your firmware is only one file, you can only select this AP and from here you can select, but my firmware is a four file firmware. So select uh, the firmware file accordingly, so AP is the bootloader. CP and CS normally ok so after this look at the device also it says uh, ok so when we start when we click on start ok at the first moment if the uh, firmware update didn't start I will tell you what to do so if it starts at the uh, setup connection and you get any error press within the download mode disconnect the cable ok then you need to press the volume down button and power button then the screen will turn on black then again you need to push it again and with the home button and again go to download mode again try this same same process if you repeat for two three times it will uh, get flashed so now let's see it is flashing 
in the device also we can see downloading do not turn off target so it is uh, possible with Odin and this Odin step is done because if your uh, phone is not suitable with the Samsung Kais 3 or the Samsung Smart Switch Amazon recovery or the uh, firmware initialization all this because uh, when I was going to enter the uh, SN number and my device info the uh, Samsung Smart Switch pops up with a message saying that your SN number are uh, not matching or something like that so I then tried uh, with Odin first it was not accepting but with the Samsung official cable it does so this is how you can do the FRP lock on off and okay one more uh, I'm going to one, note this down one more thing so when you download a custom ROM first go to developer options and allow the OEM unlock so uh, this is for all the Samsung users who are stuck at the uh, FRP lock so wait for the uh, data to get downward do not turn off anything or remove the cable it may take you to the emergency recovery and the uh, um, smart switch also doesn't support my device so some devices which are not supported by so here you are now we can easily boot here see now we don't get any options uh, and now it started and now your device will boot let me show you that okay so after some time I got to this setup wizard screen and as you can see now you can access your phone so okay this message comes when you uh, so announcer is attempt has been made to reset your device effectively for settings connect to a Wi-Fi so you need to connect your Wi-Fi and enter your uh, email address that you used okay so let me skip okay so I uh, okay so I set up my phone now and I added my Google account so after setting up the phone you need to go to the uh, about device okay and you need to unlock the developer options for build number seven times go back and you go back uh, you see the developer options now the OEM unlock so now your yeah, FRP lock is unlocked and don't worry if you got any error please comment in the comment section below and like this video if this helped you or if it's informative for you and please uh, you can send me a request for having some videos on Samsung devices I will surely do that uh, now I just have two Samsung devices so I can test on them I'm planning to take some stock UI Android device later so thank you and please subscribe for the channel